everybody, it is RV Rebel Girl, and I'm leaving the Women's RTR. I didn't even plan on going, but I thought I'd give it a second chance after what I experienced last year there, and I probably should have just not went. But, you know, you learn a lesson. Lessons to be learned. So stay tuned and find out why I left the Women's RTR. So this is the um, the wash, and it almost, we were joking yesterday, it looks like the parting of the seas, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks like somebody's getting ready to do something down here. Yeah. Too bad I'm videoing, but. Is this the guy that did the? Yeah, he did the, a seminar for how to maintain your vehicle. Oh, okay. So, um, so this wash, they're holding meetings in this wash. Oh, wow. This is the way in and out. This is where the cars have to drive. There's only one way in this place, which is just past um, this man's vehicle. So he held his seminar here, and Bob held it on the other side of the oh, street. Wow. And there's only one way in and one way out, and that's in between the two. And this is where our friend got yelled at, and she'll... You'll have to watch her video to see that. But um, there's the entrance, the one way in and the one way out. And uh, right here. So there's the, the road that goes in and the road that goes out right here. So we couldn't get through this way because of this. I'm sorry? Oh no, I'm just talking about the road. <laughs> um, this is the road in, in to the uh, that goes to another section, and this road right here goes is the road out. It's the only way in and out to this area. Yep. And yet, that's where the meetings were held on each side. So you people have to be able to get in and out. So this is the meet and greet or. Um, signing autographs for his book. And you can buy Bob's book for seven dollars if you choose to. Cody's here also. So um well I've got the coffee pot was delivered to my house so I live on acreage. So Cody's down there see if I can get a picture of Cody underneath the table. There's Cody underneath. Excuse me ma'am Hi everybody, thank you for watching my channel and um, I'm leaving the RTR for the women, women's RTR, women's RTR in uh, Baos, Arizona and I'm on my way to Parker to run some errands and everything and then I'll find a place to park and camp before I go to the regular RTR. But um, actually I'll probably camp outside the RTR but if there's, you know, I do want to say that I wasn't going to go to the Women's RTR this year because last year when I attended a few meetings uh, when the Women's RTR was in the same location as the regular RTR, all they did was bash men. You know, now I am a single person and I have been married before, but um, I just don't, that's just not me. I don't bash men and um, I mean, my dad's a man and and God rest his soul and my brothers are men and my son is a man and my grandsons are men I don't bash men so that being said I had chosen not to go to the women's RTR because of what I experienced last year when they were bashing men at the meeting I went to and um, not you know 
were acting like that everything that they had to say was so private and just being rude outright rude to the men uh, that just were walking behind uh, through the camp which they have every right to do walk through a camp walk through the camp to get from one side to the other and um, so I chose you know I said I wasn't gonna go well in the meantime some of my friends who have their husbands with them and were camping they were going to wanted to go to the women's RTR and a friend of mine that I travel with she'd never been she's to RTR at all so she would said she would like to go to the women's RTR and I thought well okay I'll I'll just go over there it's in a different location you know so we went to the women's RTR and as we pulled up to the allies section where in the allies section east is for um, women with husbands spouses or male significant others and they have different camps set up for all kinds of different people or campers you know I mean they have like six different camps quiet section noisy section generator section pet section rainbow section uh, handicap section and allies allies meaning that they have you know men with them however of course the men are not allowed to go to any functions and they're not allowed to go to any um, in any of the other camps other women's camps they can't go in any of the they have to stay in that one camp so um, just where they're at that being said because the men can't go to the other camps today first thing you know this morning at like 10 o'clock I believe it was right around 10 um, they were going to have Bob Wells was coming to do a meet and greet and on the other side you know right near his group where he was having his meeting greet there was a ge another gentleman I, I don't have his name but he was conducting a seminar to teach women a man teaching women um, how to maintain your vehicle and different things like that which sounded like a good idea now the places they were holding these meetings was in a wash Okay, which people kind of use as a main road. But as you go down in, and I'll show you pictures, that Bob Wells was on the right side of the main road into the LI camp. The main road into the LI camp, where anybody in the LI camp has to go down that road to get in or out, access in, access out. So they had Bob Wells on one side of the, of the main road in the wash. And they had this other gentleman on the left side of the main road going in, but in the wash. They were both in washes. Big, wide wash, which was really nice. But other people were driving their vehicles in there or walking along those ways, you know. And um, so people, so I went to just go see what was happening. I was with my dog. Now, mind you, I can't get into, I did not join the Facebook group, so I can't see what's on the Facebook because can't get into the women's RTR Facebook group unless you join and I didn't need to join another group and um, I didn't go to some of the meetings because I had just gotten there last night so I didn't get to go to the information meeting or an orientation meeting or anything like that I arrived I walked I parked up at the entrance because my friend's rig wouldn't fit into the allies section and so we parked but it was still in the allies section so we parked up on top and um, I walked with my dog in my chair and my coffee to go see what was going on in the meetings in the wash you know so I walk over there with my chair I set my chair down I got my dog in my arm and I had my video camera on my cell phone and I was taking video from afar and everybody watching these two people were facing the person they had their backs to me I didn't have their faces they had their backs to me and I was being very conscientious of who was on video and who wasn't on video and you know I was really just trying to just give a little brief summary of what was happening I wasn't even trying to hear what these people were saying of course Bob was there only to sign his book and sell his book for seven dollars and he sold a lot of books to a lot of the women there for seven dollars on the BLM land at the women's RTR and then 
on the other side of the street was this gentleman, and he had a nice group there too, but all, like I said, all their backs were to me. Until, until, Suzanne yelled, ma'am, and yelled, yelled at me, and then all these people turned around and looked. Up until that point, everybody was looking at Bob, including me, which I wasn't really looking at Bob, but I was trying to get a picture of um, Cody underneath the table. I was taking a little video. I was going to zoom in to get Cody. Well, I, I immediately turned off my iPhone because I want. she's rushing at me. Of course, she later said, I didn't run at you. Well, because she can't, because I can't run. But she was storming at me, huffing and puffing, and she yelled at me and told me to shut my camera off and told me, delete that right now. Delete what you videotape right now. You have to delete it. I'm like, I don't have to delete anything. It's my camera. This is BLM land. I can do whatever I want. I can, I mean, not, not whatever I want. I can video whatever I want. This is public. This is out in the public. You can't tell me I can't videotape. And you can't tell me that I have to delete it. But I says, and you could have handled this a lot different. You didn't have to approach me huffing and puffing and yelling at me. So everybody's turning around looking at me. We said no videotaping at the Women's RTR. I said, well, I'm sorry. I didn't see that video. I didn't hear about it. And I didn't, you know, well, it was our meeting this morning. Well, I wasn't at your meeting this morning. But out of, just for, you know, shits and giggles or whatever, I'll delete it. But you didn't have to act that way and scream and yell at me. I would have been more than happy. Well, we got women who are trying to stay in secret. They don't want people. To, I said, listen, I know all about that. I work domestic violence as a law enforcement officer. I have no intention on violating any woman who's trying to hide but I'll tell you something in Bob's video he came right out and said even where the RTR is concerned if you're hiding and you don't want to be on video then don't come now listen here it comes so uh, if you absolutely cannot have your picture on on the internet I hate to say it that you may not should come because it just can't be guaranteed and that's particularly true for the RTR it is Yeah. just such a huge group but we do ask, we really encourage everyone to be very thoughtful about their videoing and, and photographing. Please. Because there's no guarantee that you won't get captured in somebody's video. And there is no guarantee. And anybody has the right to video on public land if they choose to. You can't stop them. You can ask them kindly not to. But this could have been handled totally different. And she yelled and screamed and brought attention to me, which I was not trying to do. I was minding my own business. Because somebody in her little group there, and I know who it was, I watched them, went up to her and said, that lady over there, she's got a video camera. What are we, a bunch of kids? Really? Could you have not approached me like an adult and said, excuse me, we were asking that nobody video. Do you mind turning off your camera, please? And don't demand that I delete anything. Even though I... I hit the delete button. But you know what? It's sitting in my delete can. It's still on my camera. It's still, and you know what? I recovered it. I went ahead and recovered it, so I still have the video. And I have the video I was shooting before you came up to me, and I started another video because I had stopped to speak to somebody. I mean, I thought this was the United States of America. Freedom of speech. I can video. I can, as long as I'm not in a secured area in a private building that doesn't, I mean, it's the public. I'm out in public. There's a big, there's a van sitting up way up in the mountain. That person's probably got a <clears throat> long lens, video and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. But, so I decided, you know, I do not want to socialize with that kind of a woman. She says, and I told her about the men bashing. She says, well, they're not, those people aren't here this year. But yeah, she told me she ran the, the RTR last year. And you know what? The person who was up at the beginning, they were, they allowed it to happen last year, the men bashing. They allowed it to happen. Excuse me. So then 
I'm standing at the roadway, I was packing up my stuff, and a lady came by in a van, and she looked at me, and she says, am I going to get in trouble for coming through here? I'm like, uh, no, I don't think so. Why? Why would you get in trouble? Well, because we were given a whole, you know, we're a whole bunch of rules, and the men over here that did those two seminars, the reason they did it here is because they're not allowed to go in the women's camp. So I'm like, wow. You mean so you have these men that you don't want around, but you only want them around when you want them around. Does that make sense? You don't want the men around, but you only want them around when you want them around. They're giving you a seminar and they're not allowed to go in the main camp to hold the seminar because they're men. So they held their seminar in the wash, in the main road, and that, where people are going in and out, and you're giving those people a hard time about coming in and coming out. Well, they that's the only way in, and it's the only way out of that ally section. So this woman tells me that um, she got yelled at and they were told that they are not allowed to have flashlights with white lights. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. They cannot, in women's RTR, you cannot have a flashlight or any light with a white light. If you have a white light, you have to put a red cellophane or wet red cover over it or orange cover. No white lights because Suzanne can't see the stars. Yeah, that's what they were told at the, at the meeting. Now, I wasn't there. But you know what? I believe this woman because of the way Suzanne acted to me. The way she treated me. And from what I understand, how she treated a few other people there as well. Now, I'm not going to use their names because they may want to talk about it in their videos. And so you may hear more about this. She, and um, so because Suzanne does not want to have the white lights interfere with her viewing the stars, if you have a flashlight with a white light, you need to cover it with red cellophane or a colored cellophane because you can't walk around with white lights. You can't have white lights um, lighting up your camp, your campsite. So if you want to put lights on your campsite that are white, you can't do it. they got to be red or orange because it will interfere with her looking at the stars. And I was told that it's also, you could view those rules on the Facebook page. Well, I'm not a member of the Facebook page, so I don't know the rules. And um, I tried to, I, I've asked for membership, but who knows if they're gonna approve me because uh, she's already yelled at me. So if she checks me out to see who I am when I ask for the membership, she may deny me to come onto the Facebook page. So that's why I left the RTR and the women's RTR. That's why I left the women's RTR. Hi everybody, I'm back in my camper. Uh, just had a nice shower, feeling really good. And I'm staying, I'm in Parker. Um, drove up to Far Parker to do some laundry and do some errands since I left the women's RTR. And I'm just gonna uh, end this video with the original video that I took um, at the women's RTR before I was rudely interrupted and I'm a very respectful person and I had all intentions of being respectful during my video and, um, you know if you want respect you have to give it out I hope everybody's having a great time at the women's RTR so but I wanted to get this up in a timely manner and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did video of the two events this morning. Bob's meet and greet, where he sold his book for $7 and autographed and took pictures with every my hard work that I'm covering these events to help other women and men, women and men who are van dwellers and people who are not that would like to do it, but just want to live vicariously through our travels so i hope you um, enjoyed this video so everybody have a really great night
and thanks for watching. Hope I see you at the RTR. Come by my camp. You're welcome. And you can bring your camera if you want. Have a great night. I'm watching Bob talk about caravan. Um, the importance of a community. He's talking to a lot of the women. And talking about taking care of each other. And then on the left side is a gentleman talking about vehicle maintenance and how to maintain. Bob reminds everybody that you're not on your own. Even when you're out there by yourself, there are others there to help you. You can't hear him because I'm a little far away, but that's what he's talking about. We're on the uh, family side of the women's RTR where um, husbands and families can be. Cody underneath. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs>